And then I realized, well, I was raised in America, and on my mom's side, we've been in America. Been in America. Where white slave owners taught money over all. That's the reason that I think it's lovely to ball. Bodies by the boatload cutting through the raw, like whips up in the closet, money in a ball, coke up in the dashboard, bloody on the wall. Everybody knows cotton's fluffy in the fall. Now I see the same stuff bumping in my songs, hear it in my footsteps running to the mall, like, mm, yeah, cop a deal on the new pair of shoes that you got to feel. Nike reported it took a lot to reel Michael Jordan into the room where the pot gets peeled, but he sat down. Michael Jordan, bro? He sat down next to suited up men who invented the whip, saw paper cuts had indented the tips of their fingers, and so he was tempted to dip, but figure he'd stay. At least hear what the half ball men had to say. That's when they passed him, pen on a plate. Ink was the blood, wrung from the whip. Michael Jordan's front tooth sunk in his lip. One of the bald men stood, clung to his, and said, First, you must learn not to feel for those today who have not a meal, don't have jobs for the poor folk, and that's why we gave them pot to deal. We gave it to the rich kids too, but told the cops not to care what the rich kids do, because we do got jobs for them. So long as they take what we offer them, make sure they're making us profit, and put the pill in their palm and pop it in. Pop it in, come on, pop it in. That shit goes down smooth as Kalanapin. Electrons get to colliding in. Your gut till you're hunched up vomiting. Throwing up Gatorade ramen and the other synthetic shit that we bought for them. It's really pathetic, the life we offer them. The men chuckled. Then were silent. Till Jordan interrupted them. Like, what if your kids see the problem and choose to use what you have to stop it, man? Oh, Michael, stop it, man. You think we haven't thought of them? Every weekend we give them models and a lot of gin plus some pot to spin into double wide papers that they plop it in. So come Monday, they're down to do it all again. Look. Look around you, Mike. Nothing's changing. And, and they're okay with that. <laughs>